Girls are supposed to be feminine and demure. Comedy isn't about that. So you just have to unlearn it. Certain women are so pretty. They can't go weird enough to be funny. You have to be willing to be ugly. I'm lucky my face can look so hideous. If you're playing a character that someone doesn't like, that's okay. But if you're voicing your own opinions, they actually don't like you. There are some people who make you feel less lonely. Hair extensions and wigs are not the same thing. Wigs are for old ladies and drag queens. Extensions are for women who want longer hair. To be safe, never bring it up if you think a woman is wearing either. No good comes of it. I live in New Orleans part of the year, and it's a really fun eating town. I bought two homes there, one to live in and one as an investment. They love to eat, drink and dress up in costumes. There are so many reasons to dress up Mardi Gras, Halloween, Southern decadence. I think I'm comedy attractive, but it's never gonna be me and Charlie's. They're up there. Thank God for Stifler's mom. I don't know if life would be this fun if I didn't have that. A man's ability to haggle is never a turn on. The only thing less romantic than how much you paid is how much you saved. The last thing we want to hear is how you talked the jeweler down on our new earrings. People have this view. Oh, you're in movies. Your life is so glamorous, but it can really suck. I read a script and I know immediately whether that role is for me or not. I would say 90% of the scripts that show up on my door are women who have had lots of plastic surgery that are married to rich men, sort of a trophy wife. As young, hot actors living in Hollywood, you get even more attractive. I get the gold digger part six times weekly. I can play those women into the ground, but I don't want someone telling me that's all I can do. Usually when you're an actress, you have to audition 20 times. I don't know what I am. I guess you can call me a character actor in the sense that I'll never be an ingenue. You know, that's over. My shot was missed. I take a normal person and make them more of a character. I don't know what that would be called. When you leave La and go to another city, guys are normal again. They like girls their own age. When it's going well, stand up is the best thing in the world. But when it's not, it feels like all your toes are being pulled off one by one. I always date younger men. For some reason that's just the way it's gone. Because younger guys have always asked me out and I accept. I always find the most depressing stuff most interesting. Short of spending $10,000, there is nothing you can do to your head to hide the fact that you're going bald. When you're an actress, there are only a few times you can really get paid. One of them is doing a sequel. They can't fake you or hire another actor to play you. There's something about me that suggests I don't have an intelligent atom in me at all. So people say things to me that they wouldn't say to other people. Insulting, condescending things they don't think I notice. But of course, I'm taking it all in. No one purposefully paints a bad painting. It's someone who's trying to do a good painting, but it's terrible. I have one with a matador and the bull is going through the blanket. You can tell the painter didn't know how to paint it. I wasn't very good in my serious acting class. Sometimes people took our class so seriously. So I used to sort of make fun of people after class. And so a friend of mine said, why don't you do the comedy thing? That's how it all worked out. The best thing about animated feature people is that they are very laid back people. You feel like you're showing up for a backyard barbecue. Unless you write your own movies, you can't really say what you want to say. The one thing that has helped sustain my career as an actress and a comedian is that people generally view me as fundamentally stupid. When I go on The View or any of those talk shows, you really don't get to say what you want to say. It was always the cliche of men leaving their wives for younger women. The playing field is sort of even now. Women make their own salaries. They can do the exact same thing and can have a younger man. Younger guy are attracted to a strong quality. I've been many people. I've been the skinny girl. I've been the fat girl. Because I've become a character, actress, I sort of fell victim to, well, I don't have to look good anymore. The odd things that people say to you are 
so much more hilarious than what you can come up with. To be honest, sometimes I'm horrified because you don't really know what you look like. If I really knew what I was doing on screen, I would try to stop doing it. It seems almost impossible to me that the whole world doesn't know CPR. It's really hard for me to meet someone. I don't want to date actors. Been there, done that. Only one actor per household. Please. I always fall for the guy that, like, has to blow me off because he needs to go do something with his dog. I love those kind of guys. When you're on this major English estate, breathing in the English air, and it's untouched, you can feel its presence. It's a whole different feel. Dot, dot, it really felt like we were there living. It, it didn't feel modern ever. I know what I am capable of. I read a character and if I can say to myself, I know this woman, then I take the role. If things don't work out with one person, there's many other people to replace you with online. Our secret desire as women is to have a guy who falls madly in love with us even though we're incredibly opinionated or we're not the sort of normal, polite, poised woman. Jennifer Audrey Coolidge, born August 28, 1961. Coolidge was raised in a small town in Massachusetts. She played the clarinet and went to orchestra camp for three summers as a child. She attended Norwell High School, the Cambridge School of Weston, and pursued university studies at Emerson College in Boston and the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York City. During college, Coolidge wanted to become a dramatic actress like Meryl Streep, but instead became a comedic character actress. Coolidge is an American actress, a character actress with performances across screen and television, primarily in the comedy genre. Coolidge is the recipient of numerous accolades, including a Golden Globe Award, two Critics' Choice Television Awards, two Screen Actors Guild Awards and a Primetime Emmy Award. In 2003, Coolidge was named by Time as one of the 100 most influential people in the world. Coolidge had supporting roles in the American Pie film series 1999-2012 and the Legally Blonde film series 2001-2003. She has regularly collaborated with Christopher Guest on his mockumentary films such as Best in Show 2000, A Mighty Wind 2003, For Your Consideration 2006, and Mascots 2016. She has also appeared in the films A Cinderella Story 2004, Click 2006, Date Movie 2006, Epic Movie 2007, Promising Young Woman 2020, Single All the Way 2021, and Shotgun Wedding 2022. On television, Coolidge has appeared in the sitcoms Joey 2004 2006, The Secret Life of the American Teenager 2008 2012, and Two Broke Girls 2011 2017, and the drama series The Watcher 2022. She garnered critical acclaim for her role as Tanya McCoy, an insecure wealthy woman, in the HBO anthology series, The White Lotus 2021-2022, winning a Primetime Emmy Award and a Golden Globe.